Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Reviews and Help and today we are doing the last part, the third part of the mini series on how IP addresses work and how port addresses work on a basic term for browsers and a little bit important stuff for if you're going to make your own browser. Now this is the part we're going to talk about some little bit of good information to know if you want to make your own browser. We're not going to get into how to make your browser, but some information to make your stuff uh, stable for, for the most part. How to make uh, what other browsers use, Chrome, Firefox, and the rest of the game. Uh, so if you go to Oddball, which always goes against the, the curve, which no one uses because it's, you know, not doing what they want so as far as the telecommunications industry most protocols are defined as RFCs now if you want to make your own web browser you want to have it work consistently like other web browsers for your user base and uh, that way things will work as they're supposed to because web pages are designed for one particular type of web browser than all other web browsers build off on top of that and more features on top of that. So you want to have it follow certain protocols that most people expect within a web browser. So we all know that HTTP is a common protocol for web browsers so let's search for that. And as you see here, we have pretty much a list of what's related to the HTTP protocols. Now, as far as things goes, once in a while you're going to see something like right here, RFC 2068 is obsoleted by RFC 2616. It means it's replaced with, so you have to go down to 2616 somewhere around here and there you go kind of now let's just say I want to get information on one of these RFCs I just click on the number and from here it'll take me to a little bit of information I have to click right down here and this is where we get our bit of information on this RFC and um, it it's pretty important again if you're making a browser to put the right ones in there. In other words, web pages won't work properly. But anyways, this has been Craig Bennett, founder and owner of TechView Snelp. And if you found this helpful, then please like, please subscribe, and please share. And if you have any questions, again, please leave a question below in the comment section. I'll try to get to it as quickly as possible. And if you haven't seen the previous ones, then please watch them. I'll have them in the description, and a link to them in the description. That way you can check out the previous parts, and um, hopefully that will help you out in understanding this stuff. But anyways, again, if you like this, then please like, please subscribe, and please share. Please visit techfusenelp.com, and I hope you have a great day.